Hello everyone, I'm Dave Thompson, Orbital's President and Chief Executive Officer, and I'm happy to speak to you today on the 30th anniversary of our company's founding on April 2nd, 1982. On this day of celebration, I want to let you know how grateful I am for the imagination, dedication, and hard work you and your colleagues have contributed to our business. These are the real rocket fuel that have propelled Orbital forward over our last three decades. You should be very proud of what you have done in creating the space industry's most successful new enterprise that was started in the post-Apollo era. Looking back over the company's accomplishments during our first 30 years, there are six major ones that stand out as examples of our technical innovation, customer responsiveness, and operational excellence. First, Orbital's signature product, the Air Launch Pegasus rocket, was conceived 25 years ago this month. Since its first flight in 1990, Pegasus has conducted 40 launches, boosting over 80 satellites into space. Pegasus and its derivative launchers, including the Minotaur and Taurus rockets, as well as missile defense interceptors and long-range target vehicles, have accounted for sales of more than 150 vehicles worth over $4 billion since the late 1980s. Second, our smaller Geostar-class commercial communication satellites were introduced 15 years ago when the conventional industry wisdom held that bigger satellites were always better. But we listened to what customers really wanted and it paid off and our more affordable platforms have gone on to command a 50% share of their addressable market for the last five or six years. They have generated sales of 35 spacecraft to 16 operators who today use them to provide services in over 100 countries around the world. Next, Orbital's long-range long missile interceptors 30 of which are on ready alert today in Alaska and California, protect over 300 million Americans from the threat of intercontinental missile attack. The development, production, and support of these ground-based interceptors have been the company's largest single program to date, carried out by a very capable team, primarily based at Chandler and Vandenberg. Fourth, the company's scientific spacecraft business, an area we've been active in since the 1980s, has allowed researchers at NASA and various universities to make exciting new discoveries in earth science, astro and heliophysics, and planetary exploration. From a total of 28 scientific satellites that we've built and launched since 1982, 15 are still operating today. These will be joined over the next few years by another five spacecraft currently in development at Dulles and Gilbert. And while the details cannot always be disclosed, Orbital has also developed and manufactured several dozen national security satellites. These are somewhat similar to our science spacecraft and they perform important communications, missile warning, weathered monitoring, and other military missions. Fifth, through our technical services division in Greenbelt and at other locations, Orbital and its predecessor companies have provided specialized technical support services to NASA and other government laboratories for 25 years. In doing so, we have lent our engineering and manufacturing expertise to some of the most important space missions ever undertaken. These range from the Hubble Space Telescope to the Cassini Saturn Orbiter and the Kepler Planet Detection Mission, to name just a few. And finally, there's the company's newest and arguably our most ambitious development program, the parallel creation of the Antares medium class launch vehicle and the Cygnus cargo spacecraft. Antares and Cygnus will soon start regular cargo logistics flights to the space station in a first of its kind commercial space delivery service. A multi-group, multi-site team from Dulles, Chandler, and Wallops Island is now readying Antares for its first mission later this year. 
Even though we were the first to introduce these and other innovative and affordable space systems, that doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels. In fact, the competitive landscape today is as tough as it has ever been. Old guard competitors are fighting hard to retain their dominance of the industry in a time of declining customer budgets, while new entrant commercial enterprises are trying to take a page out of the book we originally wrote with promises of even lower cost products. And you know what? That's okay. Competition drives innovation. It forces us to be better, to think more creatively, and to be more focused, all of which play to our historical strengths. So today, and throughout this 30th anniversary year, let's redouble our efforts to remain on the leading edge of the space industry's technical innovation, customer responsiveness, program execution, and professional commitment to each other to make Orbital an even better place to work now and for the next 30 years. Thanks again for your many contributions to our first three decades of space achievements and happy anniversary to us all.